Website traffic is hard to win and easy to lose. And if you have buttons and links on your website that take people away, every one of those clicks is an exit click. It's an outbound link click. And by default, Google Analytics does not track those exit clicks because they are non-page view interactions. Anything that is not a visitor moving from one URL to another is a non-page view interaction, and there are all kinds of them. And these non-page view interactions aren't tracked unless we set up event tracking. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to set up event tracking for outbound link clicks and exit clicks using Google Tag Manager and then using Google Analytics to report on every one of those clicks so you know exactly where people are clicking to leave your website. Ready? Let's jump in. This is a website homepage. This happens to be the Orbit Media website, super high performing B2B lead gen site. And if you scroll down to the very bottom in the footer, you're going to find some social media icons that link to social media networks. A click on one of those is an exit click. Here's another example. This is a book page. We wrote a book. It's called Content Chemistry. It's the illustrated handbook for content marketing. I highly recommend it. On this page, there are several places you can leave to go buy the book in other places, in other websites. This goes to the distributor. This goes to Amazon, to Barnes & Noble. This also goes to the distributor. Which of these gets clicked the most? Uh, so I can find that out if I set up event tracking for exit clicks using Google Tag Manager. Here we are inside Google Tag Manager, which is, of course, a tool for managing all of the marketing tracking codes that you have on a website. Think of things like Facebook Pixels and uh, uh, Google Analytics JavaScript. Inside Google Tag Manager, we need to confirm uh, that there is a, a variable set up first. So we're going to do that from inside here in the variable section. And it's the click URL variable. So this is already set up. If you, if you don't see it here, the built-in variables, you're going to click on configure and scroll down and just make sure that click URL, I don't know why they aren't just turned on by default. You're, we're going to need that one because we need to track the click URL, right? The place that, that the click went, the, the destination. So uh, I've already set this up as a tag. Uh, it's, it's in here, GA event offsite click, but I'll set it up again just so uh, you can follow along. So I'm going to start by clicking new. I'm going to make a new tag. This is going to be a, in this case, I'm still using Google, uh, Google Analytics Universal. And what type of tracking is this going to be? It's going to be an event because it's not a page view interaction. All events have category, action, and labels. Maybe I'll call this, this category offsite link. The action, we'll just call it click. And the label, I want to track what? where they clicked, what they clicked on. So I'm going to use that pre-built variable that we just set up a second ago, the click URL. That's how we're going to track the URL that was clicked on, the destination, the ahref equals the tag, the link that they're going to, right? You can set a value if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to leave it blank for now. Non-interaction hit. If we set this to be true, that's going to be, uh, that means that this hit will affect our bounce rates. A bounce is technically a one hit session. So if this is nine interaction hit true, this is going to be a hit. And uh, anytime that this is clicked, a one page visit could still be, uh, would no longer be a bounce if they clicked on one of those exit clicks. So I don't want this to affect my bounce rate. I want to leave the definition of bounce to be basically like a one page visit. So I want to set non interaction hit to be false. In other words, hey, tag manager, don't let this event affect my website's bounce rate. We don't need any advanced settings, so at this point, uh, we're going to name it and save it. Uh, I'm going to call this GA for Google Analytics. I'm going to call it event because that's the type of, of, of uh, tag that we're setting up. And you can call it something like uh, offsite, offsite click. Next, we're going to add a trigger. This tag will get triggered when an interaction meets a certain set of criteria. That's when it gets triggered. You can see I've already made one, but I'll set up I'll set up another one now just so you can follow along. I'm going to call it uh, this was the offsite link clicks. We'll make another one of those. So to do that, we're going to click the plus to create a trigger. The trigger is going to be for what? Clicks, just links. We're going to make it on a click. What kind of clicked? Not all of them, just some of them. Which ones? We're going to make it when the click URL, as in the place that they go to, contains what? It does not contain my web address, www.orbitmedia.com. That's it.
This trigger will get fired anytime anyone clicks on a link that does not go to its own to its own website. That's when it gets triggered. And what is it going to trigger? A tag that is the event. So at this point, I'm going to give this, I'm going to name it and save it. And this is going to be offsite link click. That's the trigger. I've already made this trigger, so I don't need to make it again. Uh, we're going to close this down and just pretend that that was uh, the one that already existed. Last step is to submit the container. As you submit a container, you can make a note about the change you just made to the container. Documentation is the key to collaboration and quality, so make sure to make good notes about all the things that, that we just did. Cool. Okay, because this tag is already in place and this trigger is already in place and this event is already being tracked, uh, I'm going to show you now how to do the analysis for this to find out, to answer both those two questions. Are these getting clicked? If so, which one's getting clicked the most? The social media icons. And are these getting clicked? And which one's getting clicked the most? Uh, these uh, links to an offsite conversion to buy the book. Uh, lastly, I'm just very curious in general about which offsite link click on this entire domain gets clicked the most often. Uh, who knows? We're about to find out. So inside Google Analytics, the event reports are going to be, of course, in the behavior section. Uh, a, B, C, acquisition, behavior, conversion, where they came from, what they did, and what percentage of people took which actions. Uh, events are just all in the behavior section, which is exactly where you'd expect to find them. In that section, there's a couple of different reports. Top events, all reports no matter where they happened, or pages, allowing us to look at just the page that had that off-site link click. Uh, I'm going to start with the, my first question, which is the home page, footer, has social media icons, which gets clicked the most. I've got the date range set to be January 1st to present. I'm going to get several, like six months of data here. This is not a super high traffic website, and I have no reason to believe that behavior on these offsite link clicks would have uh, changed during that time. There's no seasonality relevant that's relevant here. Uh, so I think that's fine. Date range equals data. The lower traffic your website, the longer the date range you'll have to choose. Uh, this is obviously a list of all the pages on our site. I'm going to click to drill down on a page. And the drill down from the pages report is going to show me event category. Aha, there's the event category just as I set it up in Google Tag Manager. When I click to drill down from event category, it's going to bring me to the event action, which is just as I set it up in the Tag, in, uh, tag Manager, which was click. And yet one more drill down will bring me to the final uh, dimension, which is event label. Event label we had set up to be um, the click URL, the destination of the click. And right here at the top of this report, I can see which of these got clicked the most. Uh, it looks like there were a few that are not relevant to that, maybe 10 or 15%. The ones that remain, um, Facebook wins, number one, followed by LinkedIn. After LinkedIn comes Twitter. And then finally, uh, uh, people clicking to go to the YouTube channel. Analysis. I'm not very active on Facebook. Maybe I should be. My audience is sending me clues that uh, Facebook is a, a relevant social media network for them. Boy, I'm not really getting a lot of visitors to go to the YouTube, even though we've been investing in YouTube lately. Uh, maybe I could increase the visual prominence or the order or remove something else from around that to call that YouTube to increase the percentage of people who click on that from there. But mostly, I don't really want people to leave my website and go to social media networks. Those places are filled with distractions and competitors and like all kinds of like irrelevant stuff. They're farther away from the conversion for me. So uh, I'm basically happy with the low amount of engagement on these because um, I'm not really trying to promote uh, Facebook or LinkedIn. Second bit of analysis. We've got a book page. The book page has some conversion focused. These ones I do want people to click. Conversion focused clicks. Uh, this one taking the visitor to the, uh, the distributor. Uh, and these two taking people to uh, uh, marketplaces, Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So why don't we check that to see which of those gets clicked the most? Should be pretty easy, right? Going to come back in here, go back to all pages. For that, I'm going to use the breadcrumb to go up a level to all the pages. And that page was called uh, the name of the book. So I'm just going to copy that URL, come to this report, filter for that URL. Filter, of course, unless you're using an advanced filter, just filters for the first column. First column is the primary dimension. In this case, it's the page. Primary dimension is always more or less the name of the report that you're on. There it is, content chemistry. That's the number of, uh, of events that have been triggered on that page. I'm going to click to drill down, which uh, now we see the event categories. Offsite link clicks is the one that's most that's relevant to me. And uh, there's the click, and one more click down will take me to the event label, which was the click URL, as we saw. Here they are. This is the analysis. Uh, about half of all the clicks go to Amazon. 
interesting. It's not the most visually prominent, but it is the top click. Just shows the power of brand. Second most popular is the distributor. There's two clicks to get to the distributor. One's at the, uh, the, big, the big button and the other one is farther down here. Uh, there would be ways if I wanted to, to track that separately. Um, I don't care that much. And then Barnes & Noble is in a, uh, a distant third, only 5% of the events triggered on this page were for that. Um, if I uh, cared to go deeper, I could look at the total page views for this URL and then divide by the number of uh, events, uh, offsite link clicks, uh, and then calculate the actual click-through rate from this page to those and then uh, consider doing some conversion optimization, or in, in a way, just click-through rate optimization by uh, considering um, adjustments to the visual hierarchy to try to increase the percentage of people who go to that, uh, who leave and go to that, uh, that source, that marketplace. While I'm here, I wanna answer one more question. I'm very curious just what is the most common exit click on this website? Of all the buttons and links that I put on this site to, that take people to all the other places, Right? I can't track back button activity with this, uh, with this event. Um, I can't track you know, browser tabs being closed, but I can track the, the, uh, the popularity of all the clicks that, I, that we have put on our site, right? in the templates or in the editorial, if it's a link. So for that, I'm just gonna to go to the top events report. From top events, I can find that there it is, offsite link click, it's the fourth most popular event. Uh, you can find another video where we, um, we're, we teach how we set up event tracking to watch the video views. Offsite link click takes me to this page here. There's the click. And I drill down yet one more time to go to the event label, which is the click URL. Here are all of the most popular clicks that people use to leave our website. Ah, that one goes to a Google Doc. Not normally trackable because I don't have Google Analytics tracking code set up on Google Docs. Of course, that's a third party tool. But uh, I know where that is. That's a page where we shared our content marketing template. There's another video made about that. <clears throat> and uh, I can see that that's actually uh, was pretty successful because uh, 1,400 people clicked on that link um, to get to our, our content marketing temp, um, Google Doc template. Uh, there was another that looks like it was some kind of pop-up window. There's another we linked to a free privacy policy tool. Facebook was our third most popular. Keywordtool.io was, uh, was the next one. Keywordtool.io, oh, that's a tool I've recommended before. It's a free way to see what phrases Google suggests as if you're typing in uh, a search into a query into uh, Google. If I click to drill down, I can see just keywordtool.io. 515 times people have left my website to go to that tool. Wow. From which pages are they leaving to go to that tool? Okay, to answer that question, I need to add another dimension to this. I want to see the page. I'm looking at the event label. That's useful. Uh, I suppose I could make a segment to show just people who, when that event label was triggered, but since I'm already on this report and there's only one row here I, I drilled down, I'm going to do it with a secondary dimension. Secondary dimension, just to find the page, literally just page, to see from which page people are triggering that event label. And I can see it looks like it's 84% uh, are on the blog keywords article. Okay, so I got a very uh, effective uh, exit click. Uh, uh, there's a link on that page that, that uh, we must really be trying hard to get people to leave and go there. It's a blog post. doesn't bother me at all. They're not in a funnel. They're not, they don't have strong intent. It doesn't bother me a bit uh, that we're sending traffic to that tool. I recommended that tool after all. I made the link because I'm trying to be a helpful content marketer. Fun, right? Really interesting. I know very few marketers that actually do this kind of analysis. So now you know how to find out where people are leaving your website. This is Andy from Orbit Media Studios. As I mentioned, a web design company here in Chicago. We hope you found this useful. We'll keep making these. If you know anybody that would get value from this and, and should be tracking these kinds of things on their website, feel free to pass this along. We'd be super grateful. And if you want to get the next one as soon as it comes out, just make sure to subscribe. See you soon.